What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So I'm here in my garage and uh, so yesterday I got the uh, BF Goodrich Rival S tires mounted on the wheels. I got, still got the car up on the uh, jack stands because I want to show you guys a closer look at the BF Goodrich tires and then just compare them to the Nettos that I currently had on there. But uh, before I get into that, I need to start out by saying, you know, giving a huge thank you to you guys. I did make a post on Instagram thanking you guys because without your guys' support, you know, I wouldn't be where I'm at today. So the story behind this is I was prepping the car for We Are Mopar 2020 and Pedro Murillo from We Are Mopar, you guys might know him as Mr. Moparian, uh, he reached out to me and said, hey, would you be willing to give ride-alongs to attendees at We Are Mopar on the BF Goodrich uh, autocross course? And I said, yeah, of course. Like, one, it's something I'm really passionate about is taking these cars and showing what you can do with the proper setup and proper set of tires. And uh, two, you know, I get to uh, provide a service and be a part of We Are Mopar more than just being an attendee. So it was uh, super cool of him. He reached out to me. He said, hey, like, uh, we'll send you a, a set of tires, which was like, yeah, let's do it. And then We Are Mopar got canceled. So they pushed the date back and then it got canceled for the second time, as you guys know. And I uh, just thought, you know, OK, more time to prep the car and get ready. No big deal. And then um, I came home one day and there's a set of tires on my front porch. So I was like, oh, snap, like super cool. So I'm going to take the time and, you know, test into it on them and be even more prepared for We Are Mopar 2021 than I would have been for 2020. So huge shout out to Pedro Murillo, huge shout out to BF Goodrich Tires. This means a lot to me. So I've always wanted to use BF Goodrich Rival S Tires. Now, you might be wondering, why didn't I just go and use an all around autocross tire when I first started, you know, my journey in autocrossing? And I've got to give another shout out to Robert Weathers. So. I went to my first autocross, I can't remember if it was Saska in San Antonio or if it was a spokes event, but it was in uh, San Antonio. And Robert had his uh, Camaro uh, Z28 version up on a trailer and he had the Optima stickers on there. And at the time, that's what I was preparing for. So I go up to Robert and I just start you know, picking his brain. And that's one thing I love about the autocross community is people are always down to help you. And I learned a lot in that first day. And I had spoke to him and I told him like, hey, I want to jump on some BFG's Rival S's. And he was like, ah, you know, I really don't think you should jump into a 200 treadwear tire, you know, right out of the gate because it'll hide a lot of mistakes as a driver. And I was like, oh, okay. And then multiple other um, seasoned autocross drivers told me the exact same thing. So I was like, okay. So at the time I was on Nitto 555 G2s um, and I, primarily pick that tire because they like last forever, especially when you're doing like burnouts and stuff. And I used to drag race a lot. So I was like, okay, so I'll just see what I can do with these tires. And my setup was all wrong. The coilovers were set up wrong, tires were set up wrong. And as I kept going from event to event, I realized what they were talking about. So if I would have jumped into a 200 treadwear tire, they would have hit a lot of mistakes and I would have developed a ton of bad habits. So the only sticky tire that I've used is the Michelin Pilot Sport 4S and it made a huge difference, but still not a dedicated autocross tire. And as I developed my driving and my driving skill set, I got better. Now, I used these Nitto 555 G2s about a month ago at an autocross. I did post a video on it. And even on those G2s, I was driving a lot better than I was a year ago. Now I'm to the point where I'm ready to start driving on some sticky 200 Rover tires. So this couldn't have come at a better time. So last shout out I'm gonna give is to uh, Brianna, uh, Sassy Sapphire on Instagram. I uh, took these wheels and tires to infinity. They mounted them, they balanced them, and they didn't scratch my wheels. That's like the biggest headache I've had around this area is every time I go to mount wheels, they scratch them. So my last two sets of wheels were scratched, just mounting tires. And these Demon wheels are really hard to find and they're not exactly cheap. And they did a great job. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, Brianna. So now we're gonna get into the um, difference in the tires. So let me show you guys that. All right, guys, so here I have the Nitto 555 G2 and the uh, BF Goodrich Rival S. Now, the first thing you'll notice is that the Nitto is much taller. That's because this is a 315 4018, and this right here is a 315 3018. So it's got a little bit of a smaller sidewall, but the sidewall on this tire is much better. So let me show you that. So here on the Nitto, you can see you've got your regular sidewall. It's uh, pretty much nice and smooth, and the tread pattern stops right up here, okay? Now when you get into the um, BFG Rival S and you start looking at the sidewall here, it's got these tread lugs. Got this tread right here that goes all the way up onto the sidewall and that helps for grip when you're turning in, especially a super heavy car. So you can see that right there. 
All right, so the Nitto 555 G2 is a 320 treadwear tire, so it's a little harder. It's still kind of soft, but it's still harder. The BF Guru Travel S is a 200 treadwear tire, and I can literally sink a fingernail into it, and it'll leave an imprint. So it just shows you this is a much stickier and softer tire. Now, the thing you might notice is the uh, treadwear pattern here. So I know the Nitto was a you know high-performance summer tire, and it's got more grooves in it to deflect rain. That was the big change in the Nitto. Uh, when it came out with the G2 versus the original uh, 555 tire. Uh, this tire here, the BFG, you can see that tread on it. It is, there's tons of tread on this tire. Um, that's because it is intended for grip and that's pretty much what we want. So I've been autocrossing on the 555 G2s and I'll give you guys a close up here. Uh, but pretty much what happens is when the car's turning and I'm turning the, the wheels to cut into a corner, the car starts what they call plowing, right? And that's that the wheels are turned, but we're still moving straight. We're not turning into the turn. And what happens is that the tire starts getting this gator skin pattern on it, where it's just it's just uh, sliding all over the place, and it starts tearing up the tires real bad. So hopefully with the, um, and you can see that it's mostly on this side of the tire. So on this tread right here, on this tread, and on this tread, it's pretty beat up already. Um, but the, bring this tire back over here. The, BFG Rival S again. It's got these this tread on the side that should help it bite and actually turn the car versus it plowing. So I know some of that has to do with my alignment, and I'll probably get another alignment after I get these mounted. I don't have enough time, sadly. So maybe sometime next week or before the next event, I'll have this thing lined up and we'll get some even better bite and better traction. All right, guys. So that's pretty much the main differences between the BF Gear Rival S and my street tire the Nittos, and that's pretty much all I use them for is just, you know, street driving. And I'll be using these BFGs for autocross and some road racing. And I'll, of course, I'll tell you guys my input and the uh, main differences I feel when I am driving on these tires. So one last thing I gotta do before tomorrow's autocross is heat cycle this tire. So I wanna give a huge shout out to, it's on Instagram, at SB454 Camaro. He just won the cam challenge on the BF Goodrich Rival S tires and he informed me that you might want to heat cycle them put the carb on jack stands for at least 24 hours before you start racing on them and they'll last longer and they'll grip up a lot better so that's what I'm about to do is throw this last tire on the car tighten up all my lug nuts do some figure eights um, you know drive around them for a little bit to get them get some heat up in them and then uh, we'll be pretty much ready for tomorrow so that's gonna wrap up today's video guys so I don't want to bore you guys with me putting the tires on the car you've seen that a million times and um, so tomorrow I'll be filming for the most part. It's, um, they're doing drivers only. There's no spectators, there's no ride along. So most of the camera work is gonna be GoPro footage for the most part, because I'm gonna be focused on the car and documenting the changes I've made to see how the car feels. But I'll be dropping that video sometime next week once it's all edited and done. And if you guys have any questions, you know you can leave a comment below or you can reach me at Toronto Racing on Instagram. So if you guys like these videos, hit that like button, leave a comment below. And if you love these videos, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, guys. Peace out.